Okay, so our next lecture is going to be on uh, applying some of the concepts we've learned uh, in the Stella environment. So Stella is a program uh, for systems modeling and it's located on your desktop. It's called Stella Architect. Um, when you open up Stella Architect, it's gonna ask you uh, two questions <clears throat> about your preferences, excuse me. <clears throat> and um, you should leave both boxes unclicked and just say, okay, it'll only do that the first time and then you won't have to worry about it again. So we're gonna be working on a simple um, model of uh, leaf decomposition. So we're gonna have two state variables. We're gonna have the, uh, the mass of leaves and the mass of compost. Um, we will have um, a, a certain amount of leaves that are input to the, the pile of leaves. They will undergo decomposition at some rate indicated by K3 here, and that they will turn into compost at that rate. And then that compost will release CO2 at another rate. In addition, the leaves will um, be giving off CO2 as well at uh, a third rate. So we have three rate constants here, K2, K3, K4. And we'll have some flux of leaves coming in, okay? And then um, they will uh, decompose at some rate. The compost will then give off CO2 at some rate and the leaves themselves will give off uh, CO2 at some rate. And so we have a system of equations here that will be um, calculated over and over at some time step in order to um, to see what the, uh, the state changes and um, uh, removal of CO2 are over time. So now I'm gonna switch over to, um, so let's stop that share and I'm going to put in a new share for the Stella Architect program which did not just come up. Come on. Uh, there you go. Uh, da, 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 da. Boom. Thank you. Okay, so now we're looking at the blank Stella Architect screen. And um, we're gonna set up um, some of our initial model settings. Okay. So um, you get this by um, putting in run specifications. Okay, and that brings up this model settings. Um, I'm not sure what this will say when it comes up, but what we want to do is to set the start time to one and the stop time to 1000. The, um, the time step we're gonna use, DT, so DT in the sense of, you know, how you write this in calculus, change in time, we're gonna to set to one quarter step, okay? And the reason we're doing that is that we're going to, um, um, in order to make the, the calculations more accurate, you wanna do your bottling at um, a time step that's smaller than the rate at which um, your, your materials or, or energy are moving from one box to another. Um, and, and so we're gonna set a simulation duration. We're gonna say, oh, we want the, the simulation to take one and a half uh, seconds to run. Um, and the time unit should be months, okay? So everything we, we do will be done in terms of months. Now let's set up the, uh, the model itself. We're gonna click on a stock and set up a stock window and we'll call that leaves. And it's telling us, oh, this has not been defined yet. And, and that's fine. We're gonna, we're gonna draw things out before we um, 
we define all the values, initial values is what it's looking for here. Uh, I'm going to try to just zoom in a little bit on this. Come on. Well, it's not zooming in for me, but I'm not sure why. We're going to start with that first flux. And so that's the what the the leaf input. So we're gonna we're gonna start at the very beginning with no leaves in the leaves stock, and then uh, we're going to specify a leaf input. We're gonna have a, a flow or flux of decomposition that will go from the leaves to compost and another flow from compost to, um, to the atmosphere. And so that will be compost CO2. And then finally, we're gonna have a, a last flux that will be leaf CO2. Um, that'll get it again, I'll go to the atmosphere. So, you know, as I said before, we have these sort of cloud shaped um, symbols and those basically just indicate that, um, you know, we're not, we're not concerned with keeping track of um, how much or where the leaf input is coming from just as we're not concerned with where the compost CO2 is going. That's going out to the atmosphere and so we're not worried about it. So we'll start with defining our initial stocks. So initial value down here, um, we'll define as zero, okay? And then that little uh, exclamation mark will leave. We'll do the same for compost. We're going to say that um, the leaf input will be um, 10 and um, we'll just say that it's, it's mass, we'll say it's grams. Hello, sorry, um, 10. That's funny. Okay, we're gonna skip that for a second. Um, maybe if I go back, it's, it's not ready for me to give it a, a leaf, uh, an input yet. Um, here, we'll enter in grams for the, um, the leaves and that, that seemed to have done that. So I define this as grams. This is now saying it's grams. And this is also saying the units now are specified as grams per month, okay? So I guess I had to define the units on the leaves first. When I define the units on the leaves, um, it then uh, assumed without any other information uh, that this would be, compost would be grams too. And then it said, oh, well then the leaf input must be grams per month, okay? Now, we need to put in our, um, our, uh, our constants here, and we're gonna have three of them. So in Stella, and Stella has been around for like 25 years, maybe more, they've always called these converters. I, what are they converting? I have no idea. But basically, it's where you're putting in those constants that you're going to use. So we're going to call this, checking my notes here, K3. We're going to call this next one over here K4. And we're going to call this one K2. They completely rewrote this program um, in the last two years and did um, change the word converter, which is extremely confusing. Um, so the next thing we need is a connector. 
Okay. And again, as I mentioned in the first lecture, these connectors are not for flows of materials or energy, it's flows of information. So for instance, um, we're gonna wanna put an equation into decomposition. And in order to use K3 in that equation, we're gonna have to connect it. And again, these are, are, named, are colored in red so that you know this is information, it's not material or energy. So we're also gonna to wanna to use leads in that equation. We're gonna to wanna to do the same thing for the compost CO2. Um, connect K4 and compost to compost CO2. And for leaf CO2, we're gonna to wanna to know K2 and the mass of leaves. So now we have this diagram. And I'm going to enter in the coefficients that we're going to use for this. K4, hello. There we go. K4, we're going to make this um, 0 0.01. Uh, and this should be grams per month. Um, It's telling me it doesn't know, but well, it's, it should be it should be grams per gram. Um, and then we're going to say that the amount of flux per unit time out of the compost um, component is going to be equal to the amount of grams of compost times um, K4. Um, and we're gonna do the same with K3. We're gonna define that as 0.02. And this should also be grams per gram. Not grammatically correct, grams per grams, but it's okay. Uh, leaves times K3 will be that decomposition box. And then uh, K2 will be equal to 0 0.01. Okay. Um, and then the leaf CO2 per, per time step is going to be K2 times leaves. So now, didn't like that, I don't know why, let's see. This didn't take for some reason. Say, okay. Okay. Now it's the same one unit to define. It does not like the grams per gram. I'm going to ignore that uh, and just run it and see what it does. And it ran. It took about a second and a half. That's good. Um, uh, so great. Well, um, we might want to look at our results. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to hit this graph symbol and bring a graph over here. If I can't move that there. And as I do, um, the the options for the graph will come up here on the right. And I'm going to say, I want a line graph and I want to add a variable to that. And I'm going to put in compost and I'm going to put in another one. I'm going to put in leaves. Okay. And so now this is giving me the, um, 
from one to 1,000 months, okay? The amount of compost being added to the, um, the, the number of grams of compost in the, um, sorry, in the, the stock right there. And um, I'm sorry, and the grams of leaves. So leaves are brought in and um, you can see those increase first. And then uh, at some point, the, the grams of, um, at some lag of compost increase, okay? And at some point they actually exceed the number of grams of leaves. Um, now the other thing we can do, and move that up there, and then we'll move this down here. And we can define another graph and look at the fluxes of uh, CO2 in compost, CO2 uh, uh, or uh, grams of decomposition, and then leaf CO2. And so you can see the first process that's, that's most important is decomposition um, as that goes from leaves to compost because that has a higher, that has a, a value of 0 0.02, okay? Um, and then conversion to leaf CO2 remains important. And then finally, um, compost CO2 after we start getting some of the leaf material into the compost becomes more important as well. Um, okay, so um, that gives you a basic introduction into how to put together a simple model in uh, Stella. <laughs>